Welcome back. Welcome back. Batwoman. Yeah. It's official. It is, it, ooh, it's very official. It comes yeah. out. Last time we were announcing it, and now it's, it's airing. But I feel like the, I saw you like a week ago. I want to hear about this. I want to know what, what did it feel like the well, first time you put on the suit. Uh, talk to me. The suit felt amazing. Colleen Atwood designed it. She is a, an Oscar winner. It, it just, it's like a second skin, and it feels like you're faster and stronger and better and bulletproof, but you're, not, you're none of those things. You're a little slower, um, <laughs> and it's a little uncomfortable in the back after a but while. But I mean, there's ads all over the place right now. They're doing a great job marketing this thing, but you I know, look it's, so cool. It's, a, it's everywhere. You look great. Like, it's I've cute. been living in a bubble that is a bat cave. That is a, it's in Vancouver. Yeah. It's a city I don't even live in, like, until now. And then I come here and I, like, had a panic attack because I was like, oh, my God, this is amazing. I'm there and I'm there. And then a bus, like, of myself swiped my face. And I was like, whoa, wow, that would have been really ironic. And then <laughs> it was like, and then I saw it on, like, a little subway thing. And I was like, I need to get back to my hotel. <laughs> this is just... Really well, this is out. the first time no, no one's ever played Batwoman before. No one's ever played her, I, except me now. This and it comes it. out next week, and I'm terrified. I'm so happy for you. I'm happy. I'm thrilled. Now, can we talk about something that uh, had happened on set? Uh, you had an injury. Uh, I did. Uh, explain this. This is like. Uh, well, I had a couple of like comedies in there <laughs> when you're really hyped about a show. Um, one was that I was allergic to my cow, my mask. And so I'm like allergic to the adhesive tape, so I had like hives for like a little while. You're like, joking? No, about five days, six days in, it was like, we took, um, on like the morning I was like, like a pre-proactive 15 year old child kind of commercial. Yeah. And then when I took it off, I was like, like in a horror film, like where really? people were like, were like, it's gonna be okay, can you just stay back there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stay who, there. Who are you? Yeah, we're gonna call you? someone, just yeah. don't take a step, don't, tip, don't, wow. don't, don't, don't come near me, don't. So what did they have to do, change the whole make of Yeah, the... we had to take everything out of it and put uh, like something else, cotton or something in it. And then, um, and, but before that I broke my neck basically on the show as well. Talk to me about so... this, because this is, you can't even just say that flippantly, this, it's, it's awful. Well that one, you know, that's like more funny. Um, no, it's not at all. So I, I did a stunt and uh, for like a very extended amount of time, like seven hours. And we thought that I broke a rib or just like fractured a rib. And that was like six to 12 weeks of like healing. So then I had six to 12 weeks of um, chronic pain and was just sort of kept assuming that that was what it was until I kept seeing these doctors and they're like, it's your neck, it's your neck. It's just like radiates into these places because of nerve endings. So I finally got an MRI and I had to get in Romania in the middle of a film where I was also doing stunts. And I just sent it to my doctor. I just sort of transcribed the whole thing and basically called and he was like, you could become paraplegic. This is your spine. You, it's two of your discs have herniated and they've broken all the protective layers. You have like this tiny amount that your spine is like not severed. Jesus. And if you don't get back, you could become paraplegic, even just like sleeping wrong or, you know, moving my head in a strange direction. Ruby, this is um, awful. It was so terrible. It was really, really terrifying. And then, you know, I was like, well, at least I don't have an option. You know what I mean? It's like, I have to do it. Yeah. So I did the surgery and it was, and also like, I couldn't feel my arms for a long time, but you just get used to weird things like that. And so um, it was only when I would like pick things up and then I would drop them and I was like, well, that's strange. Um, and. <laughs> And then I, I really didn't, I wasn't paying attention to my body. I wasn't listening. I was like in such a hurry to get everything done. It's like, Batwoman, yes, did the pilot. And now I'm going to do this film. I'm going to come back. We're going to pick up the series. But I just wasn't listening. And I think that was the world's way of saying, like, you're going to have to pay attention and you're going to have to slow down and you're not actually a superhero and you need to get some priorities straight. Wow. And I made, and I went back to work after 10 days because, like I said, my priorities were straight. And, <laughs> yeah. and, I, and I liked to rest. Did you yeah. freak out? Did you just go, well, what's good? I mean... Well, I didn't have a time to freak out. I was just like, you, this happens to like a lot of people. I mean, it, I, it got me thinking about a lot of things. Just like, for instance, how do people pay for the surgery if they need it? What happens if someone has the same diagnosis as me, but they don't have insurance and they can't get this surgery? It's not a cheap surgery. And they have to just like live n not knowing if they could become paraplegic. It just, it was kind of terrifying. Yeah. And then, and then my insurance didn't cover it. And I was like, wait a minute, this is America. Um, <laughs> and so, but at least I have the funds to, to pay. You know what I mean? It's just like, it got me thinking about so many things. And then- You appreciate everything, right? I appreciate everything. And then, and then I was really depressed. Because when I wasn't allowed to move for 10 days, except to use the restroom, and I got so depressed there, just thinking about like not being able to move and how 
you know, and not being able to do things myself. And it got depressing. And then the only way I really got myself out of it was being like, like how much exciting things is ha happening this year. And also how much like by slowing things down and being appreciative and being in the present moment and appreciating the people around you can make you feel like a million dollars. Well, we love you. I'm so happy that you're okay. okay. Be careful. I want you to come back more and more. We love you.